TLCC's XPages course is delivered in a number of Notes databases that the student downloads and installs in their local Notes system. The course is driven through the Course Lessons database and the student interacts primarily with the Lessons database as they proceed through the material. Uh, they access the other databases as required, like the Discussion database. When they have a question, they post it there and it's replicated up to our server and then the instructor replies within one business day. The other databases that come along with the course are all activity databases uh, which are used for the various demonstrations and activities as they proceed through the material. I'm going to open up the lessons database right now. Uh, the lesson uh, database, uh, the lessons are grouped into several modules, a couple of introductory modules at the beginning, an overview on X pages, and module two uh, titled Creating an X Page covers some of the basics uh, in terms of creating an X Page, how to use controls. Now this is an overview on using controls in Module 3. We cover all of the different controls that are available in X Page Design and how to use each one. Module 4 proceeds with how to uh, display a view, a domino view in an X Page, how to display and edit a Domino document using X Pages. Module 5 covers styling X Pages using style she sheets and themes. Module 6 is the programming options for X Page Design, uh, including both client side and server side JavaScript. Module 7, some very advanced topics, including how to combine a view and document in an X Page, uh, and several useful. Uh, advanced view techniques uh, like categorized views, uh, showing response columns in views, and so on. Module 8 uh, takes a look at building custom controls uh, for use uh, over and over in your various X pages. And Module 9 focuses on the features uh, that uh, are new with 8.51, release 8.5, where several. Um, new features were introduced for XPage development, uh, including, of course, XPage's uh, support in the Notes client. Uh, so I'm going to scroll back to Module 3 to give you an example of how um, a lesson and activity flow for this student. So here in Module 3, at the beginning, we're going to show them how to use the various edit controls and we start out this lesson with a demonstration. So the user clicks on this button. Uh, in this case it launches up a specific X page in the web browser. So right now I'm in Internet Explorer and instructions on how to try out these various edit box controls. So there's going to be some instructions on you know entering some text here in this number control and if I submit that I'm warned that this field is not a valid number. So I can try again and enter in a number and that is now accepted. So I can try out these various controls. I can try out the password control, the date picker control, and so on. I can try out the rich text and multi-line controls. Okay, let me return to the lesson. So that was a quick demonstration of the various edit controls. Now, as I scroll through this lesson, here are the details for applying all of those things. So I'm just going to continue to scroll through this, but all of the details, the how-tos, are delivered in the lesson. Okay, so a demonstration of the various controls that are available, and then all of the de details for, in this example on my screen, you know, how to set a date-time display edit box control. Okay, so I'm going to quickly scroll right to the very end of that just to give you a feeling for the kinds of details that are available. And then I'm going to close that lesson and immediately following that lesson the student encounters an activity on edit controls. So almost every lesson, every lesson, uh, is followed by an activity. Uh, so in this case, they're going to try out what they just learned in that lesson on edit controls. 
So first off, there is a demonstration of what they're going to be doing in the activity. So once again, uh, we have an X page which shows the various types of edit controls and instructions on what to try out and what to test out in this demonstration. And then once they've done that, They go on to the activity steps. So this button is programmed to open Designer and specifically open the X page that they're going to be trying out, that they're going to be coding, uh, designing to test out what they just learned in the lesson. So here in this activity, uh, we use uh, green instructions for anything that we want them to do in Designer while they're working with the X page in Designer. So, um, step one, it says uh, next to the edit box number label, out of control with these settings, the, the, the type is edit box, and specify to display a number. So, let me try that out. So, I'm going to add an edit box control here next to that label, and I'm going to specify a display type of number. Now, I'm going to skip some of the other um, steps where I add a password, date, time, picker, and so on. And I'm going to go right to previewing this. Okay, and this is the X page that I was just designing. I can try entering some text here and submitting that. And it's not a valid number, so that seems to be working well. Okay, it did accept the number. Okay, so let me return to the design. Okay, when I'm done that specific activity, I can return to the lessons. Okay, so I've just completed that activity on edit controls, and that's the complete cycle. So a lesson where there might be some demonstrations and all of the details on how to perform some action, how to use some uh, feature of X page development, and then an activity where the student tries that out. So if I move on to module seven and one of the advanced topics, uh, combining a view and a document on an X page, okay, again in the lesson, uh, we've got some introductory material on um, what we're going to be learning in this lesson, how to combine a domino view and a document on the same X page, a demonstration of that. Okay, and as I click on these links, which are in a domino view, I see on the same X page the document as well. And then the technique for how to perform that. Okay, so this is a very involved technique and a fairly lengthy procedure on all the steps to set that up. After that lesson, once again, an activity where the student tries that out. Uh, one other point, uh, and that is the instructor support. So if a student is uh, having a problem or has a question related to the current lesson or activity, they can push the button to create related discussion. It's linked specifically to what they were viewing, so it provides some context to the instructor. Uh, the student can enter their question. Uh, they can mark it as private if they just want the instructor to see it or keep it as public and provide some details. And then they can save and close that, replicate that to our server, and again, the instructor replies within one business day.